Maasim Acts 11. And the apostles and brethren that were in Yahud heard that the other nations had also received the word of Yahuwah. And when Kepha was come up to Yerushalayim, they that were of the circumcision contended with him, saying, You went in to men uncircumcised, and did eat with them. But Kepha rehearsed the matter from the beginning, and expounded it by order unto them, saying, I was in the city of Yafo praying, and in a trance I saw a vision, a certain vessel descend, and it had been a great sheet, let down from heaven by four corners, and it came even to me, upon the which when I had fasted, rather fastened my eyes, I considered, and saw four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air, and I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Kepha, slay and eat. But I said, Not so, Yahua, for nothing common or unclean has at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What Yah has cleansed, that call not common. And this was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. And behold, immediately there were three men already come unto the house where I was, sent from Kekarya unto me. And the Ruach bade me go with them, nothing doubting, Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, rather accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house. And he showed us as how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Yafo and call for Shimon, whose surname is Kepha, who shall tell you words, whereby you and all your house shall be saved. And as I began to speak, the Ruach HaKadosh fell on them, as on us at the beginning. Then remembered I at the word of Adonai, how that he said, Yahuchanan, indeed immersed with water, but ye shall be immersed with the Ruach HaKadosh. For as much then as Yahuwah gave them the like gift as he did unto us, he believed on the Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach. That was I, rather, what was I? That I could withstand Yahuwah. When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified Yah, saying, Then has Yahuwah also to the other nations granted repentance unto life. Now they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Yahudim only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which, when they were come to Antioch, spoke unto the Yavanim, preaching at Adonai Yahusha. And the hand of Yahuwah was with them, and a great number believed, and turned unto El Yahuwah. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the called-out assembly, which was in Yerushalayim, and they sent forth at Barnava, that he should go as far as Antioch, who, when he came and had seen the grace of Yah, was glad, and exhorted them all, that with purpose of heart they would cleave unto Yah. For he was a good man, and full of the Ruach HaKadosh, and of belief, and much people were added unto Yahuwah. Then departed bar Nava to Tarsus, for to seek Eth Paal. And when he had found him, he brought him into rather unto Antioch, and it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the called-out assembly, and taught much people, and the eth Talmudim were called Mashiachim, first in Antioch. And in these days came prophets from Yerushalayim unto Antioch, 
And there stood up one of them named Chagav, and signified by the Ruach that there should be great famine throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius, Kekar. Then the Talmudim, every man according to his ability, determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwelt in Ya'ud, which also they did, and sent it to the elders by the hands of Bar-Navah and Pa'al.